<laughs> okay. Um, so thank you for your honesty during the game. Honesty so, matters. I, it matters to me. It really matters to me because. Honesty. Huh? I, I saw, I remember I saw an ad. Uh -huh. yes, what it was. Uh -huh. Everybody, everybody is in here to Juan Kia, huh? I remember I saw that. Uh -huh. And at the end it said, honestly, pass it on. Hey, I like it. Honestly, pass it on. That's something to remember. All right, so as I told you, I need my markers. We're going to talk about how to manage stress or school stress. Or any stress, if any. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I know. Oh. Let's see. There you are. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna split this into hello Abby. We're gonna split these guys, guys, guys here. We're gonna split this in 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 half. So the first topic or the first the point number one is 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 based on a question. Where are we standing now? Here. So I know we are at you know <laughs> at the church. <laughs> so standing on a church. Stress. Oh, we're not even standing. Oh, yeah. Dash life. So point number one. Where he is standing. We are standing. Well, well, let me let me explain my question. So my meaning is, my meaning is this one. When I say where are we standing now, my meaning is like in life. Where we are standing now. Where are we standing now? Where we are at now? Not literally. We're at church. Exactly. As Kevin said, not literally, but but like in concept. Right now, you guys are. Teenage years, well, me, myself also, we are like teenage years, like we're still studying. We still are not parents. We still have not kids, right? Nobody has kids here, right? Yeah, so we're I not have parents. Adopted son. Huh? I have an adopted son. <laughs> no, I don't believe you, Mikey. I don't believe you. Yeah. So, no, here's my father, actually. All right. Uh, I'm a father figure. I'm a father figure. So, um, I want to bring you guys to the first verse to answer this question. So, please join me to John chapter 16, verse 33. Let me write it down. So, John chapter 16, verse 33, B. Uh, please oh, use N NIV, New International Version. Oh. New International Version. And -da -da -da, let me know when you guys have it with you. John 16, <coughs> When I said 33B, it means that we're going to read that second half of that verse. After the first period, after the first point, period. Yeah. So who has it? Who has it? Nobody. Okay. Who wants to read it? When you ask a question, who likes reading? Who is the one that? That's a cool one, Alex. But this time is uh, sort. Uh, you guys decide who wants to read. Otherwise, I'm gonna point fingers. No. <laughs> no. He said he wanted to read. You said. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Bibles next time. Next I see where if you have the yeah. app. So, Abby, do you have it, Abby? No. 
Uh, Axel, do you have any? What happened to your Bible? Oh, uh, do you have it? Okay, please uh, remember me your name. Hmm? Diego, please everybody listen to Diego. You don't have it? Oh, let me look it for you. One John chapter sixteen verse twenty-three. Sixteen verse twenty-three. After this video, in this world. Okay. Everybody, please listen to Diego. Out loud, Diego. Thank you, Diego. So I'm going to rephrase the first part he mentioned. In this world, we're going to have what? Problems. Struggle. Problems. So God is saying to you guys, well, it's Jesus who said that part. If you look up in the Bible, you will see that it's highlighted in red. It means that Jesus said those words. So. What? Uh, it's highlighted. Yeah, it, it's not highlighted. I mean, it's in red font. So it means that Jesus mentioned those words. So to the point, to the point. Jesus said that we're going to have struggle here. So my meaning is we cannot run away of the stress. Dash problems. Problems. Dash struggle. Which are all are the same. So you guys... Are gonna have in all your life <clears throat> problems, struggle, uh, <laughs> stress. So that's why that's my meaning of this point. Where are we standing now? We're standing in context, in a context, we're standing in a point that we are going to go through the struggle. So we cannot run away with that. So that's the first thing. But I want to reinforce that. So let's look up also, please, at the, uh, the same book that we read last weekend. The Bible. Ecclesiastes. The Bible. Ecclesiastes. Oh, no, I mean, book inside the Bible. <laughs> Do you remember Ecclesiastes? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's look up that one. Ecclesiastes chapter 2. Is it the one that said that you're God by yeah. wanting to Yes, yes, there you go. You're, you're there, exactly, exactly. But we're going to go to different chapter this time. Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse, verse 1 through 11. Yeah, those are kind of a lot of verses. But we're going to focus on the verse 11. So who wants to read it? Ecclesiastes... Uh, chapter 2, verse 11. Let's focus on that one. Okay. Kevin, would you like to help me on that one? Just chap uh, chapter 2, verse 11 only. Yet when I surveyed all that my hands had done and what I had toiled to achieve, everything was meaningless. A chasing after the wind, nothing was gained under the sun. Thank you. So... Do you remember who wrote Ecclesiastes? Last? Solomon. Solomon, exactly, Juanqui. We were reflecting last, last weekend that the most wisdom king uh, wrote this, this Bible, I mean, this book, Ecclesiastes. So, uh, I want to call your attention to this. From, chap from chapter 2, verse 1 to 10, He's the king, so he decided, he decided he would try just everything. He tried uh, having listened to any music. He decided to build houses for him. He decided, if you read all those verses, he's saying all that. He decided to have also sex. He decided to have many wives. He decided to have... Uh, all the things you can buy being rich or having money. But as Kevin just read, that person, Salman, said that 
Salomon. 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 He said that even though he enjoyed all that, all that was, what, what was it, Kevin? All that was vanity. Meaningless. Meaningless. Can you guys think for a second that? I know what meaningless means. It doesn't have a meaning. Yeah. So imagine you have all the money and all that still, it, it was not happiness for him. Let me. Uh, let me let me ask. Ah, okay. I wanna read it in Spanish also, just for your reference. Miré yo luego todas las obras que habían hecho mis manos y el trabajo que tomé para hacerlas. Y aquí todo era vanidad, which is meaningless. And here in Spanish it says, y aflicción de espíritu, y sin provecho debajo del sol. Aflicción de espíritu means like struggle for his spirit. Can you do me a favor, either Kevin or Ashley? Can you look up that verse 11 and look the version on King, King James Version? Look for King James Version. King James. King, uh, King, King James Version. King James. Yeah. And read the last part after that it says that it's meaningless. What follows after that? Which version do you have, uh, Diego? Huh? Okay, yeah, it's the same. Do you have it actually on King James version? Okay, try to read it out loud. The last part of the verse for everyone. After you? Yeah. Vaxation of the spirit. When I look up that verse, it says that it's like you're fighting against the wind. Can you mind that for a second? Fighting against the wind. So it, it, it's meaningless and it is crazy and it is this is, uh, exhausting. It's like no purpose. So again, here, so where, where, where are we standing now? So even though the context of the king, which is Solomon, he still has stress. So it's the same as our context. Our context as students, as sons, as sister, as brother, as friends, whatever, whatever, whatever. So even though we have all the money we could have, or even though we have all the possessions we could have, we still will have stress. You follow me there? So that's something very important. I don't want you to think, guys, here, I don't want you to think that, oh, when I get my degree, I will have zero stress. Oh, when I get my car, I will not have stress, or whatever. Uh-uh. There's always going to come more stress with all your possessions you guys going to have. So the key here is how to manage that stress. And but, that's, that's the second part. But uh, if we get something new, it'll be, we will get a break from stress. That's the, how do you say it? That's the, quiero decir trampa. That's the trap. That's the trap, Frankie. We may we may think we may think that that for instance getting away from home and not having the stress from our parents oh that would be uh, uh, libertad that would be I'll be but free I mean, like, getting a new car getting a degree uh huh exactly but again that's the trap that uh our consciousness makes make us think. I'll, 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 I'll give you my sense. When I get my degree, actually, there were more demanding things to me. For instance, once I got the degree, 
I had to uh, join the, well, whenever you're a lawyer, you have to join a, a specific lawyer school of the county. So you have to pay a fee to actually be part of that, like, huh? No, I'm not a lawyer, but, but my, my cousin is. I, my other cousin, he's a doctor. So I don't know you guys, if you know, but if you get a degree of doctor, you have to get enrolled in the doctor's, how do you say it? Academy? Like an academy, something like that. So that way you can, so that way you get a, a stamp, a stamp with a original number that only belongs to you. So you can put your stamp on the receipts that you give to your customers or clients. Or. stamp on your forehead. <laughs> but you got the picture, the stamp. So, so you guys see, Everything, even though getting a degree, it also makes us more stressed. But now you have to be paying monthly, so uh, to be part of that, of that people, of that group. So, so again, where there's no way out to this, only managing and knowing how to manage that. So for that, there are again now two ways to do that. One way, one way is mentally and one way is physically. That's not that yeah. yeah, right. Did I write it right? <laughs> Mentally. 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 Did I write it right? No, right? How do you get wait? <laughs> but you got the picture. I think it's only one out. Hmm? Ethically, it's only one out. Oh, what do you mean? But go ahead, go ahead. Explain. Explain yourself. No, he's wrong. Oh, I see the eight there. Never mind. Oh, mentally and physically. Okay. That, that was my meaning. So, when I say mentally, this one remains on, on two things. The first one is, believe his promises. Now, this is important through lecture. You remember, through means, you know, through. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's my meaning. So, believe his promises, but how how can you believe his promises if you don't know them? Read you will, the Bible. You will have to read. So there's there's no escapatory. I mean, the only way for you guys to know to manage the stress mentally is through reading his promises. You guys follow me there? Okay, so for that, please let's look up together uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. So let me write it out here. Ch chapter 1, verse 7. So let me know what you guys have it. It's almost at the end of the Bible. So Timothy, who has it? Who wants to read it? Who has it? Who have not read? Do you have it, Abby? Okay, can you please read it out loud for all of us? Uh, Timoth Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. Okay, thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it in Spanish for your reference. Porque no nos ha dado espíritu de cobardía sino de poder, amor y dominio propio. So what was the last word you used, Abby? 
The last word of the verse? Huh, very interesting. You, you heard what she, what she said? Uh, sound mind. Uh, what's your name? Echo. Wait, Echo. Can you please look up what it means, what Abby just said? She said sound mind. Can you Google sound mind meaning and read to us out loud what it stands for? Sound mind. I mean, sound mind. Uh, it's, it's kind of weird. So let's figure it out together. You ready? Okay, please, everybody listen here. Okay. So the sound mind would be something that is like sane or rational or like uh, yeah. So like you're in your right mind. Okay. So like something <laughs> rational that you are in your right mind. So what it says is that everybody here. What it says is that you are aware. You are conscious of what is going around you. So what? That's what it means. Sound mind. You are aware of what is happening right now. So its meaning is, again, that it, it get, uh, we have a spirit, it says, of love, power, and sound mind. So sound mind means that you have control over your uh, feelings. So yeah, like, so basically the opposite would be like, if you were drunk, you wouldn't have a sound mind because you wouldn't be in your right state of mind. But when you're like not drunk, like right now, I'm in my sound mind. I can think properly. Exactly. Thank you so much for calling it out. So the same applies, following his example, the same applies when I feel under stress. When I feel under stress, I know that I'm feeling the stress. So I decide to pull it over, to make it aside because I'm aware that I'm getting into it right now. So that, that's, the, that's the, the meaning. But how to know that I can manage it? I have to know his promises. And that's one of his promises, that we can control it. You guys have the Holy Spirit that can control that. So that's the first one. Uh, the second one on mentally is, ah, yeah. Focus on what you have at hand now. Let tomorrow deal with tomorrow things. Tomorrow. 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 Issues. I'm gonna put like that. So your meaning is focus on what you have at hand now, and let tomorrow deal with tomorrow issues. Meaning, <clears throat> not to worry of what is going to come in the next future. Meaning, in the next days, in the next week, in the next month, because we're not there yet. And, and I'm not saying that. Let's let's. Join me, please, in Matthew 6, 34. Matthew 6, 34. Matthew 6, 34. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. uh, hey. So, um, can you remember your name next to Diego? Ashley. Ashley. Will you mind reading it, it please, out loud, Matthew 6, 34, whenever you get it? Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. So, if you think for a second, with, uh, as Kane was saying, with a sound mind, so, hey, every day has its own worry. So let's not overthink it or overstress it. But 
I know each of us have dreams. We all have dreams, we all have goals. So what about that in the future? Okay, that's when this comes. What are we going to do about that? Okay, this one also <laughs> has two breakdowns. So the first one, and this is very important, uh, is called, look, don't worry about the wording. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna break it down. It's called project management. Project management, what it means? It means this. You manage the project. Yes, correct. But more specifically, Juanqui is this. Please, everyone, everyone, eyes here. Everyone, everyone here, please. Your eyes, your eyes on me, your eyes on me. When you guys have a huge project, huge project meaning I have a, a semester exam, I have uh, this presentation, I have this huge homework that is about, I don't know, 10 pages, whatever it is. You guys are gonna break it down in small projects. Sections, so on. Yeah, so, so you guys have to think, okay, I have this huge project that I have to deliver by, let's say, May 20th. Huh? Let's do it May 29. So what you guys are going to do is gonna you guys are gonna So this is the whole project, you guys are gonna break it on sections. So this part we're gonna do it on week one, this part week two, these two sections week three, and these two sections week four. Can you see it? So you guys, that way, you don't, everybody here, everybody here, so that way you don't worry of the whole project itself because you already break it down and you're gonna focus just on that thing, that's week. <laughs> Let's say, for instance, you have a semester exam. I don't know how you say it. I mean, the final exam. So let's say it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven <laughs> chapters. So, all right, you will not study the seven chapters one day before. Of course not, because you guys are smart and you are, you are applying project management. So that way you will break it down and you will say again, these two, week one. These two, I'll study them week two. And these three, week three, and so on. Listen. This is something that will, it will free you up when you apply in your life project management. This does not only apply to school and, and so on, because those are the examples that we gave. But this applies in your life, in every aspect. So whenever you wanna reach something, do this. Project management, and it means break it down in a small project that it will be more easy for you to reach and, uh, yeah, to reach them and finish them. Okay, that's the second one. And last one is <coughs> pra or pra priority. prioritize. Do you say a big four? Yes. A goal? Yes. A goal? Yeah, even a this also can be a goal, a dream. An idea? Yeah, an idea as well. But for that, you have to prioritize which of them is more important. So that way, I, I want you to get this picture. Instead of using a shotgun, which the shotgun, you know, it, it spread a lot of balls in, in a different directions, Instead of that, focus on the sniper. The sniper will go... Sniper rifle. Yeah, sniper rifle. It will go straight to the point. 
And because every strength, every uh, uh, cell of you is focused on one thing. But what if you, Go ahead. you don't you aren't taking any this sniper? Oh. So what if you'd be more practical than a shotgun? Exactly. Okay. To kill the weapon. Everybody, let's focus on Ashley question. If I have multiple problems at a time, then you use a shotgun. You no, no. Okay, listen, if you are fighting against zombies, yes, and there are several yeah. zombies, maybe yeah, a shotgun, yeah, yeah. What but, sniper do you but, 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 listen, listen here, listen here, listen here, yeah. everybody here, in yeah. real life, guys, guys, in real life, oh, sorry, in real life, you use a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Actually, yes, because you will hit one. But if you guys in real life use a shotgun, it's not wise. But let me explain you why. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You guys leaving? You finished? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I use shotguns. Huh? Okay, you guys be safe. See you. Bye. Please pay attention here. How about getting an automatic? How about that also would be good. And I'll give you an example of that one. How about getting a new? A new? It's one shot and it's right Okay, guys, listen, 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 listen. Here, pay attention, please. Listen. In real life, shotgun is not a wise decision. Let me explain you why. In real life, in real life, let's say, please hear. In real life, let's say you have. <laughs> five loans. Five, five, five loans. Yeah, lo loans for vehicle. Loan for house. Loan for your uh, your study. Loan for. Oh. Huh? Oh no, loans. No loans. Lo loans when you get a. L O A N S. Yeah, the loans which come not paid loans. Okay, so if you guys have several loans, you if you if you are paying a little bit on this one, 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 you will never end and your interest will get skyrocket. No, actually, so so what well, the best practice to do, guys, the best practice you do is you put them all together to one solely loan. Don't trust me, Google it. That's how it works. So that way, you shot like a sniper rifle to one main loan, which is all together, instead of, you know, the... the, the Wait, would a shotgun, wouldn't you be able to get all of them? Because it spreads? Yes, yes, but it will take you longer. It will take you longer, yes. No, with a sniper, it would actually take you longer because the wind and stuff messes up your shot. Oh, again, but you're talking about literally. Literally it will work, but in real life, not really. What is your that makes you really sense. Sense. Yeah, you, it does. you walk, you walk he into does, the bank with that <laughs> All right, that's a good sample, but not a fly for this one. So again, uh, let's go to Ashley's question, please. Ashley was saying, what if we have several problems? What you guys would have to do is prioritize Ashley. Somehow, even though there are several issues going on, if you put them on a list, <laughs> you will be able to prioritize them. Like, oh my God, this is the one that I have to give all my thoughts, all my energy, and focus on this one first. So I wanna show you a verse regarding this one. <clears throat> and we just went very close. It's Matthew 6, but verse 33. Matthew 6, verse 33. Matthew 6, 33. So, let me know if you guys have it. I'm going to look it up here too. Matthew. Matthew. Thank you. 
Okay, Matthew 6, 33. It says on my Spanish version, it says, Mas buscar primeramente el reino de Dios y su justicia, y todas estas cosas os serán añadidas. It means to look up first to God's... God? Okay, to look up first for God's wisdom, for God's premise, and then everything is going to come by its own. So, um, if we have to prioritize, you, you can ask me, okay, based on what I will prioritize? Well, we just read it. Based on Matthew 6, 33. What is that uh, for God is like a priority? You will put your mindset like what worships God's more or what is more Something that I'm feeling God, and I need to give priority to that one. So that's what it means when it says uh, prioritize and use this first. So any 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 questions? Anything you wanna add or sum up? Yes, go ahead, Ashley. Actually, in real life, yes, yes, correct, 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 correct. I do, but they spread out. Do you not play? I play Call of Duty. Oh my god, yeah, good idea. You can teach us, in fact. Okay, so um, I need to do something, and I need your help on this one. Um, or we can do I just need you to write, oh, well, uh, it, it, what I want is just, your, I, will, I have Abby's phone number and Kevin's phone number, and I think Ashley's, but I don't have all the other ones' phone numbers, so if you guys have a phone number. If you don't know phone numbers, can we leave? I don't know my phone number. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the reason I'm asking your phone number is because I want to make a group chat, and I want to, you know, like, have our group chat. And group chat. Group chat. Group chat. Do they build up your memes? Oh, I won't see oh, no, 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 no. No memes? No memes? Yeah, no, no memes. No, no, no. No, uh, wait, what do you mean memes? Memes. No, ah, uh, ah, uh, memes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought, I thought memes, like, you know, like being mean to each other or something like that. Oh, yeah, of course. Also, that means we can send whatever we want. No, no, no. Not not plus 18. Not plus 18. I have a few that are, like, questionable. Okay. Okay, and guys, uh, you know, modern state is coming, uh -huh. so I'm gonna give to you the actual. There's a song that oh, you want no. to, you know, like sing to our moms. I don't want to sing. My mom doesn't come, so do I have to participate? Okay, no, you don't have to. Don't worry, don't worry. But if you guys want to participate, that would be awesome. So the idea is that we will go home by home. You know, like, you know, we're gonna stop by each home. And Eliseo and John is gonna come with us. So they're gonna play oh, the song I have to go. at the home. And we're gonna sing. But we're gonna, I'll, I'll let you know, guys, ahead of time. So don't worry. Okay? I have to go. Oh, yeah, it's in your, in your home. We're gonna do it in your home. So I have Kevin already. Right. Uh, give to me. No, I already have Kevin's. So give to me, give to me. So, you actually have phone numbers. Where are your phones? Not on us, obviously. Oh, okay. I don't have them. Why do you think I went to the family? Thank you. Look, we don't have our phones. Why do you think we went to the strongly disagree when you asked about our moms? No, you. No, that's why I said. If you would like to participate. All right. I uh, we don't have to. All right. Okay. okay. No. If, if, if you. Yeah. Because I don't want you guys to. You're gonna have punchy naps. We have to. Like, you know, like, we have to. Like not punchy. Like, we have to participate. Yeah. We have to. Yeah. We have to. Yeah, to it's go. optional. Well, but I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm encouraging, encouraging you guys. So don't worry. What's optional? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Repeat again. 
Which neighborhoods are we going okay, to live in? Ah, uh, exactly. Exactly. Hey, let's what? say, let's what? say, what? let's say, uh, Alex, Kevin, Juan, oh, uh, Diego, you guys join to me. Stuff. So we're gonna go just to your houses, Juan. Oh, so the one, the ones that go with me. <laughs> so yeah. It's one sheet. No, one sheet. I don't know. Uh, that's one. Bro. Okay, Juan. Juan, 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 Juan. 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 <laughs> And um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, the next topic for next Sunday. I don't want you to, to guys, you guys to forget it. I have Abby's number already. Thank you, appreciate it. So the next topic for next weekend, I don't want you guys to miss it. We're gonna discuss about why, let me see. Why we have to follow Jesus and not to follow evil. You following me? Why? Why? Why do you follow Jesus and not to follow people? Do you need to say we have to follow Jesus? How are we following you when we're following Jesus? Well, that's what we're going to discuss. That, that's, that. Okay. <laughs> well, we will figure it out. We will figure it out next weekend. And uh, so I want to tell you that I'm paying attention to the notes that you gave me, to the, to the topics. So, uh, that. Uh, oh, I was saying that regarding the notes that you gave me, the topics that you gave to me last weekend. So uh, I'm I'm taking them like you know into account, into account, word by word. So I, that that's it. So let's 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 take a small prayer. So everybody stand up. So we're gonna pray and finish the time. Okay. So close your eyes and let's uh, show respect to, to God. Thank you, Lord, for this time. Thank you for uh, everything we discussed today, uh, the importance of how to manage the stress. And I pray to God that each of us can be free of this stress, that everybody here can be aware and know that they have the power to manage it, that they have the power to decide what to prioritize, and then they can focus on one step at a time, one thing at a time. Thank you, Lord, for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.